Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Dark Jack, and in this video I'm going to help you guys get better at Call of Duty Black Ops 2 by sharing with you my tips and tricks on how to win gunfights. Now in this gameplay, I'm playing on the map Yemen, and I get a nuclear emblem, which is 30 kills without dying, using only my guns and equipment. And this is my second nuclear medal of the game so far, and I'm really enjoying Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and I'm getting a lot better at it. But earlier, when the game first came out, I was losing a lot of my gunfights. And part of that because the connection was not as good as it is now. And part of it was that I didn't understand that your attachments and the perk toughness help you out a ton when winning gunfights. And so sometimes when you're playing Call of Duty, you're shooting at someone, you see that you're shooting first, and they still kill you after they shoot second. And then when you watch the kill cam, it looks like you're an idiot because it shows that you're just looking at the person and they're the ones actually shooting at you first, even though from your perspective, you were the one shooting first, and so that, so that can be really frustrating. And the way that is, is because uh, what, what is true in Call of Duty is because Call of Duty does not use dedicated servers, they use a host. So the perspective of the host is always correct, and not necessarily your perspective. So even if from your perspective you were shooting at someone first, if from the perspective of the person who is the host, if the person that is shooting at you was shooting first, then they win that gunfight, rather than you. And that's because of connection. So Call of Duty is all about having connection. So if the person that you're shooting at has a better connection to the host than you do, then chances are they're going to win that gunfight. So I'm going to share with you my tips and tricks on how to win gunfights, even with a bad connection, and even if the person that you're shooting at is, is the host or has a better connection to the host than you do. So first of all, you always want to use toughness on all your classes. I learned that after playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and I was losing so many gunfights, and I didn't know why. And it was because the person that I'm shooting at is using toughness and I was not. So when I would shoot at them, they would not flinch very much, but I would flinch a lot. And so my bullets would recoil and they would go over the person's head. And so they, they would end up killing me. And that was really frustrating to deal with because I wanted to use scavenger. I did not want to use toughness because I always run C4s. So I want to be able to use scavenger with C4s, but I've just haven't, I've had to decide to just give up using scavenger and use toughness. And it's helped out a ton. And I'm winning a lot more of my gunfights. So if you want to win gunfights, always run toughness. Unless you're using a shotgun, then you, can, then you can run scavenger. And then you want to emphasize attachments that help you win gunfights as well. Because your attachments help you win gunfights, not your perks. Except for toughness. And possibly de dexterity. So if you're losing a lot of gunfights, you want to run primary gunfighter. And run quick draw, laser sight, and grip. Or... What I prefer is quick draw and silencer to stay off the radar because it's easier to win gunfights when you're shooting at them when they're not facing you. You're shooting them from when they're looking away from you or you're shooting them from the side rather than having a fair gunfight where it's one-on-one -on -one and you're looking at each other. You want to try to choose your gunfights so that you always have the upper hand over the person and you're shooting them from the side of the back and they don't know where you are but you do know where they are. And then my next tip for winning gunfights is pre-firing. What pre-firing is, is that when you know an enemy is coming around a corner, you start firing your gun first before you actually see the person. And what that does is that it puts a stream of bullets out before the person actually comes into view. So that way, once they come into your sights, the bullets are already firing, and there's already a stream of bullets heading toward them. So the person that you're shooting at doesn't stand a chance. And they, it's, they don't have enough time to react and aim down the sight and kill you, because your bullets are already coming toward them. Because in Call of Duty... There's a built-in delay with every gun. This is called the fire time, and so light machine, machine guns and assault rifles have the longest fire time, and then SMGs and shotguns have the shortest fire time, and they, they do this for balance reasons, and they do, do this as well to help mitigate the host advantage. So you have to take it into consideration the fire time of all the weapons. So with LMGs, you definitely want to pre-fire the earliest, and then with SMGs, it's not as necessary because of the shorter fire time. So pre-fire whenever possible to win your gunfights. And it helps a lot if you have V-Sats up as well and UAVs. Also, you want to fire first and then aim down your sights. So this is the opposite of the way it is in real life. In real life, if you have a gun, you want to aim down the sights and then fire your, your weapon. But not in Call of Duty, because Call of Duty is all about connection. What you want to do instead is whenever you see an enemy, you want to instantly start firing your weapon and then aim down your sights as you're firing. That way, by the time you're aiming down your sights, there's already a stream of bullets coming out of your gun. That way you'll win the, your gunfight. Whereas if you aim down your sight and then fire, by the time you aim down your sight, the enemy can, could already be firing the weapon, and they'll end up killing you. So when you see an enemy, start firing your gun right away, 
and then aim down your sight. So, it helps out a lot. Or at the very least, fire and aim down the sights at the same time, rather than just aiming and then firing. And let the enemy come to you. You don't want to go, go to them, because if you stay behind cover and let them come to you, you're always going to have the upper hand, because uh, when they come around the corner, they won't be expecting you, but you'll be aiming down your sights, look, waiting for them. So you'll, you'll have the upper hand if you let them to come, come to you, rather than you going to them in a gunfight. And you always have to have good situational awareness. What I do is I always run UAV and VSAT, and then sometimes I'll run counter UAV like in this gameplay, and sometimes I'll run a kill and kill strike like the Lodestar. So winning your gunfights has a lot to do with having the upper hand in situational awareness. And the way that you have good situational awareness is by knowing the spawn system and by always knowing where they are, they are through visual killstreaks. And in your gunfights, you always want to use cover to your advantage, even if you're using a shotgun or a submachine gun. Using cover gives you a big advantage because the enemy can only see the upper half of your body when you're using cover. Whereas if you're running out in the open, the enemy can see your entire body. So use cover to your advantage whenever possible. And if you're losing a lot of gunfights, I recommend using a shotgun because the shotguns own the SMGs in close range because it's really annoying to get killed by the Remington shotgun when they're just running around and they instantly kill you because the shotguns own in close quarters combat. So if you're losing a lot of gunfights, just use the shotgun and you'll always win at close range. Also, you want to set your search settings to best when searching for a match. That way you can get the best connection possible. And if you're losing a lot of gunfights and your connection is not very good, you can also upgrade your internet. Try to get an internet provider that offers fiber optic internet. So Verizon, Fios, and uh, Com Comcast is also really good. I use GVTC uh, fiber optic connection, which is very good. And also you want to forward the ports in your router to make sure that the ports are open for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So you want to go to your router settings and you want to open up ports uh, 3074, 3478, 4,379 uh, 4, through 4,380 and 20, 27,000 through 27,050. Those are the ports you need to open in your router to get a better connection for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And to get more information about that, you can go to the website Port Forwarding and I'll give you a step-by-step -step process to how to forward your ports and that will improve your connection a little bit for this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed these tips and I'll see you guys later.